Hey everyone, Drowning on Land here, and today we are gonna do an updated tier list video. <laughs> because for my last video, I noticed a lot of you guys had some comments. Amazing vid. I thought you would put the bow at a D tier. They make a MP5 or P90? <laughs> the Gromato is really good. What do you mean? So I heard your words and kind comments, and uh, yeah, it's time to do an updated tier list video because Stuff has changed from the previous Xbox update. So, let's get to it, fam. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if the kids are still doing that. Psh, I don't know, let's get to it. All right, so just like last time, we're gonna start this off with a very, very simple and classic weapon, we have our shovel. This weapon is still a one hit kill from behind as it is called assassination and it's two hits from the front. You run really, really fast with this weapon and honestly, last time I put this weapon as a B tier, this time I'm gonna bump it up because I feel like since you always spawn with it, it is a very, very strong melee up close weapon and it's probably even a better option to use this instead of just trying to aim down sights and hit some people because you know, saving some precious frames could possibly save you from a potential firefight. So I um, moved the shovel up from a B to an A because I think it's way, way better than what I originally put it as. So you always spawn with this. So I think it is a very, very good weapon. You just gonna have to learn how to use it right. So A tier. Next weapon that is on our list, we have the classic shotgun. <laughs> All right, so this weapon, one hit kill, one from a short range, two to three kind of hits from like a medium range, it has eight shots, and it's a weapon that you start with at spawn. So it's a really, really good weapon. So I personally really, really like it. I put it as a S tier last time. I do think from the last update, I do think it was nerfed just a tiniest bit. So I'm gonna move from S tier down to a A tier. And also I feel like the spawn of it, I feel like it's a little bit faster, but I just don't feel like it packs the same punch that it used to. So from an S tier down to an A tier, so boom. There we go. We have the Karakid Launcher. This weapon has four shots, four shots, but those four shots is all that you need to go and kick some booty. This thing has an explosive radius, so whenever you shoot somebody, it is an instant kill. And the thing is, you don't have to be accurate with this thing. You just have to shoot towards the ground, and when you hit the ground, if you're close enough, you will kill the person. You do move extremely, extremely slow when you're using this, but that is perfectly okay for the damage that it puts out. And on that note, I think I'm going to actually move this up from last time I had an A tier. I think it's going to be a solid, solid S tier. Actually, no. I do feel like you're slower with it. You know what? Let's, let's drop it in. In, in a B for right now. We'll drop it in B. The next weapon we have on our list, we have the Pavolver. This is a six shot weapon that I got a few comments from this saying that should have been higher in the list. I do stand with what I say that it does amazing damage if you can land a headshot, but you only have six shots and you run out of it pretty, pretty fast. The only bright side about it is it does grow pretty quick. And also you run pretty fast when you have it out. And besides that, if I had more ammo, I would like it more, but I definitely think it does deserve more than a C tier. I think that this is going to be a beautiful B tier. This is the Perry's rifle. This weapon is a five shot sniper rifle and it's the only weapon in the game that actually has a scope on it. The scope doesn't have the best zoom. It is pretty, pretty accurate. I still personally have problems where I shot somebody in the head and sometimes it won't go through, but I think that with the speed that you have for running, how fast it spawns and everything, I still think that this is a solid, a good B tier. Really, really good B tier. That is my personal opinion with that. Separgus as a B tier item. Ooh, crazy. The next weapon that we have is the Gromato Launcher. Wow, now this weapon has 
improved so, 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 so much since the last update. This weapon has gone from something that you can barely hit shots to explodes more on contact and where I feel like the fuse is even shorter with it. And I put it on a D tier last time. I got so many people saying, like, why is this bad? Why isn't it better? Well, honestly, they did a huge update with this weapon. I think this is easily one of the better weapons in the game now. Now, for my list last time, having it as a D tier, it being something slow, wasn't very reliable, and six shots, you know, this is easily an S tier now. Easily S tier. Are you happy now? So literally from the bottom of my list now to an S tier, this weapon is amazing. Definitely a weapon that if you find around there, just pick it up. Odds are you're going to get a few kills out of it. So that is the Grenade Launcher. All right, boys, it is that time of the night or the day, wherever you are. But we are on our halftime show. Last time I had a big can of spray cheese and I got a lot of weird comments about that. I don't have spray cheese this time. I have cheese sticks. So I'm just going to take a nice, a nice bite of this. That was a huge bite. Oh my gosh. This cheese, 10 out of 10. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Make even better. I have more cheese. Where were you? Oh yeah, cheerless. We're doing cheerless video. Gotta rinse it down. I gotta say most of my streams, make sure you hydrate before you dehydrate. The next weapon that I have on our tier list for today is the chili thrower. This weapon is the flamethrower of the game. It is good. I don't know. I feel like from the last update, it was a pretty strong weapon. I had it as A tier last time. And I feel like with this update though, the weapon doesn't really spawn that fast wherever you shoot it. It does a small amount of damage, but you have to be like right on top of the person, I feel like now, to actually get a kill. It does have the burn effect or the fire damage, but I just don't, I don't feel like that makes up for it anymore. I had it as an A tier, but after my experience with it, I do feel like it's been nerfed. It's not as much damage. You still run pretty quick with it though. It has a lot of ammo, which is great, but you have to be 20 of like the ammo or 25 of the ammo pieces that are inside the chili throw have to pretty much like land if you want to get a solid kill with this the burn kill definitely helps but i don't think it holds that a spot that i used to i think this has moved down to a c tier i think it dropped two spots which is nuts which is nuts my friends nuts on to another fan favorite for a lot of people. This is the M6 Bean. This weapon, just like the Pavolver, you can actually heal other people with it. I don't think I mentioned that earlier, so I'm going to say that now. But this is a three-shot burst rifle that it is a one hit for a headshot, which is great. Around six shots for a body shot, so that's pretty much two shots. It has like 24 shots total with it. You run pretty fast, and you also, um, it grows. It grows pretty fast, too. I think this is a definitely a good weapon to get used to the game. It's a really good range. So if you're looking for a good weapon, and you see it lying around, I say you could easily pick it up and get some kills. Once again, I'm personally not the best with this weapon. I think if I was better, it'd probably be higher on my list. I think I had an A tier last time. I think I'm going to keep it as an A tier. I think it's still a good weapon. I think it's still up there, and it can still do a lot of damage. I'm just not good with it. So that's my personal opinion. But it does land when you land shots is a beautiful weapon. Beautiful weapon. All right. Now let's go on to the next weapon. Tioth. Sorry, I have no idea what just happened. All right. For our next weapon, we have the strawberry. This one's much sharper than the large stick of cheese I just had. <laughs> the strawberry is the bow and arrow of this game. It is a one shot kill for a headshot and it takes about two or three shots for a body shot. This weapon has a max ammo of 12 and it's it's pretty accurate. It's not the most accurate weapon in the game, but when you have this out, you run about just as fast as you do when you have your shovel out. Um, the ammo also spawns pretty quick, so more weapons grow. This is a good weapon, but I definitely think it was, um, I think I was too nice to it last time. I think that this thing is not where it used to be. I don't think it's a C tier. I honestly think this drops down to a D. I'm not really good with it. I mean, you can heal your teammates. There's a lot of things you can do with it. I just, it's, it's not a good weapon. Now, I'd rather pick this up than have nothing. So it's at least nice to have something, but this is not a weapon that I'm going to specifically go out and find. So that is our strawberry. All right. The next weapon that we have is the watermelon G. 
It is a very, very strong weapon. Um, has a lot of range. It's good far distance, short distance. It's literally a one shot headshot and about two shots for a body shot. And it holds up to 40 ammo. Oh my goodness, fam. Yes, you move extremely slow with this thing, but play your cards right. And if you choose your battles correctly, you will win almost 100% of the time. And I think this is, since this is still our only fully automatic weapon that's in the game, I still think this is an easy S tier. Easy S tier, my friends. It has not moved up, it has not moved down. It is still the best, the best that we have. That is the Watermelon LMG, still one of my favorite weapons in the game. You know what weapon we're doing now? We're doing the Double Cob. The Double Cob is a double barrel shotgun inside a shotgun farmer's X, just like the shotgun, except as a shorter range, and it is much, much stronger than the normal shotgun. This weapon is about a close to medium range, but if you play your cards right, sometimes you can you can hit some nasty, nasty long shots with this bad boy. Not too long though, not like the Sniparagus, but this weapon overall is pretty good. You just have to make sure that you pick up ammo around the map. Just pick up other shotguns, we'll restock the ammo for it, which then pretty much makes your gun never run out of ammo, which is great. You just have to look out for the ammo. I still think after all this time that this weapon is still an S tier. That's just me being me. I personally love the double cob, especially since it's such a like a it's a weapon that you can't pick up all the time. But when it's spawned into the map through the crop drop, man, you better get that thing, because if you're on the barrel side of it, you're going to regret it. But if you're behind the gun and you're rocking around this thing, you will kick some booty. All right, now time to our throwables of shotgun farmers. This time, uh, I actually used the lemonade because it has come out in the update, and I, I have a lot of thoughts and opinions about it. We'll get to there when we get there. First of all, let's start out with the classic, classic grenade of shotgun farmers. We have the Panapinade. This weapon does about 120 damage, so it's one grenade and can kill pretty much any person if they do not have a shield. This is good for long range, if you left click, if you right click, you can drop it in front of you, and if you cook it and drop it in front of you, it can be used for a really sneaky kill, or right before you die if you hold it, and then you die, you pretty much have a afterlife kill, which is can be pretty satisfying. A pretty good grenade, but I still think that it's not one of the best ones in the game. I think that this, as it's good to pick up if you see it around the map, it's always going to have something as a backup. So I think just because it's it's not that amazing, it's not that crazy, it's not something I look out for. I think this still stays in the C tier. It's good, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. Next throwable, we have the Molotov. This is our Molotov cocktail inside of the game. This bad boy can be melted from the purple cow. Grab this thing and throw it. It creates a small area of effect that is on fire. And if enemies run into it, that they get burned and has that burn damage. And the thing is, if they leave the area, they still get burned because they're burning. And it is definitely one of the better throwables of the game. I think that if you see one of these, you better pick it up. Or if you have another throwable, the Molotov is probably the way to go. I would pick it up. I think this bad boy deserves to stay in the A tier. It's good. It's great. And I personally love it, but I think it'll just stay right there for now. In this nice little home. It's good. It's good. And our last and final throwable, we have the Lemonade. The Lemonade has just come out in the latest Xbox update, and this is its an interesting throwable because it can blind your opponents, but then at the same time, it also damages them. And getting that lemon juice in your eyes, which sucks whenever you do it, it is miserable. You can't really see. The weapon's good in that fact, but the problem is that the explosion radius or the blast radius of the Lemonade is so, so small. They have to be pretty darn close to the person to hit it, to land it. If you cook it before you throw it, I know when I say cook, just hold it. You definitely have a better chance of hitting it, but you have to learn the time, the fuse and everything to make sure this is good. It has potential to be a amazing throwable. I'm not personally the best with it. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but your opponents are blinded. And when they're blind, you can easily go up behind them and get an assassination or an easy kill with it. In that personal opinion, I think that this lemonade has moved from the A tier down to the B tier. Now, the last weapon is currently not in the game. I, I voted for it last time, and, you know, I still have some opinions. Hey, K47. This weapon is not out yet, but from what the gameplay that we've seen, it looks like it is pretty strong from the videos and all that stuff that we've seen. It should have a 60, 60 round clip. It's going to be like the first official assault rifle. It's not like an LMG. Fully automatic. It looks like it's going to be a good weapon, but since I haven't seen anything on it yet, 
It's just one of those things I'm gonna drop it low on the list. I'll put it down at D because we don't have any kind of actual gameplay or anything with it. I can't wait for it to come out just to have some more variety in the game. But for now, we're just gonna throw it in the D tier because it's one of those things that we really don't know yet. But I am so, so excited to actually see it in action, to actually play with it and try it out and probably get some nasty kills. But you know, that's just me. All right, boys, and now it's time for the one, the only, Bok Bok. <laughs> All right, this bad boy. Last time, it was a triple S tier, but you know, I just, pff, I, I don't, I don't see that same power that he used to have. I just, I feel like he's gotten weaker. Ever since my last video, people have been knocking that he's too strong. And man, they put a really big toll on him in the update. Psych! Easy triple S tier. This bad boy would still destroy you if you even blinked in the wrong direction. If you woke up in the morning and had the slightest thought of playing shotgun farmers, this man would appear in your room and destroy you in an instant. Bok Bok is still overpowered. You better make sure that you understand what you're going up against, Bako. Never go against the Bok Bok. That man will crush you. You even know what I'm saying, fam? If I were you, I wouldn't even mess with Bok Bok. This man is dangerous. He is armed. He is crazy. And he will steal your girl in a heartbeat. So make sure you watch out for that man. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the Shotgun Farmers updated tier list video. If you want to see my personal opinions that I had before the update and how all that landed or just, you know, see all the weird stuff I did with the cheese whiz, make sure you check out the old tier list video. Um, if you like what you saw, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. Also, we have this tier list that you can use and post inside the Discord down in the description below. Make sure to also check out the Twitch where I'll be live streaming Shotgun Farmers a lot because I love the game. So make sure you check that out. Um, my Twitter, my Discord, and my TikTok, everything is down in the description. So make sure you go and check all that out. I would love to see your tier list, so make sure you put down your opinions in the comments and tell me what you think should have been higher, a little bit lower, or where what could have been where. Anyway, I love you all. Stay amazing. I can't wait to see you guys back on the farm. Doses. Yeah, <laughs> you. <laughs>